Good morning. As we continue through the season of Lent, our focus today is, O oh, death, where is your sting? From Hosea and 1 Corinthians. Where now is your king to save you in all your cities? Where are all your rulers, those of whom you said, Give me a king and princes? I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. Shall I ransom them from the power of Sheol? Shall I redeem them from death? O death, where are your plagues? O Sheol, where is your sting? Compassion is hidden from my eyes. They demanded a king, and they got Saul, and that didn't turn out well. They continually had kings. Some were good, some were bad. But God constantly had to call them back to repentance. For the Lord is our true king. Therefore, the compassion had to come from another source, the heavenly king, Jesus. And that's what Paul is speaking about in 1 Corinthians 15, which is the fulfillment of Hosea 13 in some of the exact same words. When the perishable puts on the imperishable and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. What Hosea hoped for to be redeemed from death, to have the plague of death go away and the sting gone in God's compassion was fulfilled in Jesus Christ, who is raised from the dead. We look forward to that, even though we're celebrating Lent. And the fulfillment of that will be for us, the resurrection of our bodies, where death has already been defeated by Christ. The sting of death has been removed by God our Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ, as we await the true King coming in compassion and power. Let us pray. Holy God, we deserve nothing but punishment and disaster for our sins. Open our eyes so that we do not take your wrath lightly, but strive by your grace to mend our ways and our deeds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We also beseech you, O Lord, to intervene and deliver the country of the Ukraine from evil and destruction. Grant freedom, deliverance, and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Almighty God, your Son suffered the reproach of mankind, even as he bore all of our sins to the cross. Strengthen us gladly to bear reproach in your name, and boldly to declare your salvation to the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The sting of death has been removed by our Lord Jesus Christ. We rejoice in that reality.